David from West Highland Shop sent me this pocket knife. It's marked TL29, made by Camillus. It's got a spear point blade and a screwdriver blade with a liner lock. It also has a lanyard loop. There was enough corrosion for me to opt for a soak in Evaporust. Here it is after 24 hours in Evaporust. The Evaporust revealed a lot of pitting in the blades. I used steel wool to clean up the blade channels. I was able to work a piece of steel wool under the lanyard loop pin. Here's the blade channels after a few minutes with steel wool. I then started working on the main blade. I used a diamond bit burr to add a sharpening relief. I start sanding with a 240 grit belt in my 1x30 machine. I try to use as little pressure as possible and just let the belt do the work. My thumb will tell me if the metal is getting too hot. Here's the blade after the 240 grit belt. I was going to have to live with some pitting. And here's the blade after the 400 grit belt. My next move was to work on the nail nick and the tang. First I tried my plastic abrasive bristle wheels. The bristle wheels did an okay job. I decided to hand sand the nail nick some more when I sanded the back of the blade. Here's the back of the blade sanded down to 600 grit and the nail nick. I went back to my 1x30 machine, this time with a 600 grit belt. Here's the blade after the 600 grit belt. You saw me reprofile the edge and begin to sharpen it. I moved on to 800 grit.
and finally 1000 grit. If the edge catches my thumbnail, I know it's getting sharp. I glued a piece of free pile leather to a scrap of wood to make a simple strop. It's sharp. The screwdriver blade had some extensive damage. It looked like someone tried to sharpen it with a wood chipper. I used a diamond burr in my Dremel to deepen the curved section. I started with a 120 grit belt to try to get below the gouges. I used my machine's disc sander to square the tip. Here's the screwdriver blade so far. I moved on to the 240 grit belt. I found that there was a concave section that I couldn't get with the sander. I tried going over the section with scrubby wheels in my Dremel. I think the scrubby wheels made an improvement. Here's the screwdriver blade sanded down to 400 grit. I hand sanded the nail nick and the back of the blade. I went through the finer grits like I did on the main blade. Here's the screwdriver blade sanded down to 1000 grit and stropped. It's also sharp. I cleaned up the steel bolster with the 400 grit belt followed by the medium and fine conditioning belts. I used electric tape to mask off the lanyard loop. I started out hand sanding the loop. Then I went after it with the scrubby wheels.
I think the scrubby wheels did a decent job. While I had the scrubby wheels out, I went over the springs. I used some super fine steel wool on the plastic scales. Okay, remember what this Camillus TL29 electrician's pocket knife looked like when I got it from David from West Highland Shop. And here it is now. Chuck and I went over the blades, bolster, and plastic scales with his favorite polish. The TL-29 goes all the way back to a 1919 U.S. Army Signal Corps specification. TL was the designation for a tool for linesmen. The scales were made of wood through World War II. Plastic scales, like my example, replaced wood after the war. Many manufacturers were contracted to make the TL-29, including Camillus. Camillus dates back to 1876. By 1910, Camillus Cutlery Company was making close to 1 million knives a year and employed about 200 workers. The company shipped 13 million knives to Allied troops during World War II. Camillus filed for bankruptcy in 2007 and closed. Acme United bought the name in 2009. Some Camillus knives are still made in the USA. I had fun cleaning up this pocket knife David from West Highland Shop sent me. Make sure you check out his channel. David has lots of interesting content. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.